now we are going to read about the principles of the gram staining or we are going to see why the gram positive bacteria looks violet while the gram negative bacteria looks pink so we are going to look into the reason behind that okay so for explaining that reason behind the gram staining we have three types of theories in our hand so the first theory is the acid protoplasm theory now before going into these all theories we must recapitulate the uh, the steps of the uh, or the reagents that we use in the gram staining sequentially so first of all we used to have the primary stain the primary stain was our gentian violet or crystal violet and then the second step was the mordant so mordant was the grams iodine and then the third step was the decolorization that decolorization was done with the help of the acetone or the alcohol and the fourth was the uh, the counter stain and that was done with the carbofusine or the saffronine okay so they, these are the four uh, step four basic steps or you can say the four reagents that we use in the uh, gram staining of bacteria so the first uh, theory that we are going to discuss is the acid protoplasm theory that's that's the pr primitive theory and uh, very basic theory okay not in use in now uh, nowadays so we just go superficially over this acid protoplasm theory this theory states that the cytoplasm of the gram positive bacteria is more acidic than the gram negative bacteria now how does that help in the gram staining so that helps because the primary stain that we use in gram staining that is crystal violet that is a basic dye so we know that there will be more affinity between the acidic and a basic dye okay so if the gram positive uh, gram positive bacteria cytoplasm is acidic then it will attach or it will combine with the basic dye more than a gram negative bacteria cytoplasm so that's why the crystal violet uh, combines with the acidic cytoplasm of the gram positive bacteria and remains in the cytoplasm and that's why the gram positive bacteria looks violet after the gram staining while uh, in case of the gram negative bacteria it is less acidic so less of the crystal violet gets attached with the cytoplasm of the gram negative bacteria and that uh, so, uh, and out of that some of them get washed also during uh, different steps of the gram staining and that's why the gram negative bacteria takes the counter stain uh, and becomes pink okay so uh, due to this more affinity uh, uh, between the basic uh, dye that is crystal violet and the more acidic cytoplasm of the gram positive bacteria they combine with higher affinity and they resist the decolorization and that's why the violet color is retained and that's why the gram positive bacteria looks violet so this is a very primitive theory explaining the gram staining after that comes the cell wall theory so cell wall theory is somewhat accepted theory in recent days so this cell wall theory states that for gram positive bacteria the cell wall is thick okay and it has more peptidoglycan and uh, hence it is thicker while the gram negative bacteria has less peptidoglycan and is and it is thin so how does that help in this gram staining so as the uh, cell wall of the gram positive bacteria is thick so that's why it uh, prevents the loss of the uh, loss of the dye and the iodine complex which is formed in the uh, cytoplasm of the gram positive bacteria after the adding of the mordant so uh, when we add the uh, uh, primary stain then that enters into the cytoplasm and then we add the mordant so mordant is gram iodine that also enters into the cytoplasm and then the gram iodine makes a complex with that primary stain into the cytoplasm so that cytoplasm uh, which is containing the primary stain and the grams iodine dye complex so that complex is not uh, you know that does not comes out of the thick uh, cell wall of the gram positive bacteria while in case of gram negative bacteria it has a thin cell wall so that uh, complex can easily get uh, can e easily pass through that thin cell wall and can get easily washed out from that uh, cytoplasm of the gram negative bacteria okay so that's why in the gram positive bacteria we see that the primary stain is retained in the 
uh, bacteria in the cytoplasm of the bacteria and that's why it uh, appears violet even after the addition of these counter stain and decolorizations but in case of gram negative bacteria as the that uh, complex is washed away because of the thin cell wall so uh, it easily decolorizes i mean because of the thin cell wall it easily decolorizes decolorization means that uh, that uh, primary stain and the grams iodine complex is easily getting washed out from the cytoplasm because of the thin cell wall okay and that is called as decolorization so it easily decolorizes and then we add the counter stain or the secondary stain that is saffronin and as the uh, color of the saffronin is red so that's why the bacteria appears pink uh, okay so that's the reason for the gram negative uh, bacteria being uh, pink and the gram positive bacteria being looking violet so next comes the lipid content theory this is the most recent theory and this states that the gram negative cell wall contains more of the lipid than the gram positive cell wall so what uh, what is big deal in that so the important point uh, with this uh, you know um, lipid content is that that lipid gets easily washed uh, when it is treated with the alcohol or the acetone so when during the decolorization step when we treat the specimen uh, or the you know that smear with the with the acetone or the alcohol then that lipid which is more in the gram negative bacteria cell wall is washed out so there is creation of the pores and that pores since the content of lipid in uh, in the gram negative bacterial cell wall is more so the pore in the gram negative bacterial cell wall is also bigger than the pore that is created in the gram positive cell wall bacteria okay because the gram positive bacterial cell wall contains less lipid so the after washing of the lipid the pore that will be created in gram positive bacteria will also be smaller okay that's uh, you know that's a, a basic uh, funda na so that's why the pore size in the gram uh, negative bacteria in case of gram negative bacteria is bigger and due to that bigger pore size the di iodine complex easily gets lost from the cytoplasm and that's why the primary stain is lost in the from the gram negative bacteria and when we add the counter stain that is saffronin then it takes that secondary stain or the counter stain and appears pink while in case of gram positive bacteria there were Uh, less amount of lipids so the pores that were created after treatment with acetone or alcohol those pores were also very small and due to small pores those uh, you know those uh, di iodine complex were not lost out of that uh, cell and they were retained in that cell in the in that gram positive bacteria and that's why they appear violet okay so this is the three principles or three theories behind the gram staining gram staining so out of these three the recent one is the lipid content theory but the two theories which are uh, very much you know uh, important and very much able to uh, uh, explain the uh, explain the uh, reason behind this gram staining are these cell wall theory are these cell wall theory and the lipid content theory so these theories are very much helpful in explaining the in explaining the principles of the gram staining okay this may be asked in your university exams and in vivas maybe so you may remember this these are very easy concept you can remember it very easily